Yeah, welcome to all of you. Uh, so it's our uh, fourth lecture. So in the last class, we completed till sloka number 58, where we completed the method and the benefits of the eight karmas, eight sodhana kriyas. Today we are going to start from sloka number 59, and today we'll complete the first chapter total are the 86 locals here so it is same and as like in hat par deepika vapu krishatam vadane prasannata nadas puttatam nayane ch nirmale arogata bindu jayo agni dipnam nadi visuddhi hat siddhi lakshanam so vapu krishatam it means these are the hat siddhi lakshanam hat siddhi meaning that yoga practitioners who has perfected in hat yoga who got the achievements who get siddhi in the hat yoga so that kind of physical symptoms will be there physical and internal symptoms will be there who is perfected yogi first vapu krishatam always he will be happy always uh, the smiley face he will be actually smiley happiness will be there Sorry, sorry. Uh, Krishatam, it is the Krishatam meaning uh, slimness and Vadane Prasannata, it is happiness. Okay. Vadane Prasannata, happiness, Krishatam, slimness. That yogi, he will not be obese, he will not get extra fat. Nada Sputatam, the inner sound he will be able to understand and hear. Nay, uh, nay, nay, his eyes will be attractive as like Lord Krishna, you see. Arogata, he will be diseaseless. Bindu Jaya, it means Bindu meaning the nectar who has uh, savior of his nectar. Agni Dipnam, the gastric fire will be activated. Nadi Suddhi, his all 72,000 kinds of Nadis will be purified. These are the symptoms of the Hat Siddhi. Okay. So, same sloka in the Hat Pradipika also, and it's important sloka. Next is the sloka number 60 Karmast Bhirgat Stholayam Kaf Medoma Ladikam Pranayamam Tate Kuryat. Naya Sena Siddhati. So, same he is telling that before the pranayam, we should practice this Sodhana Kriyaj. Yeah, if we practice, he is telling Karmas Bhirgit Stolayam. So, what it will do? So, same that practice, that set karma, sorry, this Sodhana Kriyaj, it will reduce the fat and it will uh, also remove the extra kapha kalgam okay pranayama after practicing of this practice then you should follow the pranayam okay so it now if uh, you get any sequential question so it is 100 percent sure the sodhan kriya first after that the pranayama next 61 it is Set chakra sodhanam samyak pranayamasya karanam nasanam sarva roganam moksha margasya sadhanam. So here he is telling so about if we are get perfectness in the karmas, then what happened? The eight kriyas which we discussed in the previous class, that chakri, sodhan, noli, basti, tratak, mastak, brahanti, chakstra. So, all that sodhan kriyas, all that practice, they purify our set, kriya, uh, set chakras. Okay. It is the first benefit of all the kriyas. Second, prana misa karanam, that we, our body is ready for, for the practice of the pranayama. Then, Nasanam Sarva Roganam, all kinds of disease, it will be removed. 
moksha margasya sadhanam it will help to attain the liberation so these are the mainly four benefits of the all kriyas first chakras purify pranayam is pra pranayam for body prepare for pranayama diseaseless and the liberation next shloka number 62 deha rogayam cha labhate या अष्ट कर्म प्रभावत आधार शोधनम चक्रिया लिंग वज्रोली कर्मणा प्लीज मेक द डायग्राम ओके इट विल गिव यू ओवरव्यू व्हेन यू विल कवर ऑल दिस चैप्टर ना सो हियर ही इज टेलिंग देहा रोगयम द बॉडी विल बी डिजीजलेस Uh, uh, of the uh, by the effect of the ashta karmas now one by one uh, the swami sri nivas he is correlating the sodhana kriyas with the chakras okay so first he is telling chakra it meaning chakri kriya chakri kriya yesterday we discussed how we do chakri kriya come on one of you come on fast so half finger uh, we should insert in the anus then we should open that finger and rotate uh, when uh, yes or uh, we should rotate till the air should be exhaled okay so it is the chakri kriya practice so if we perfect it if we do properly chakri kriya then uh, this adratnavli is uh, suggesting that you you can clean your adhara sodhan adhara chakra it meaning the muladhara chakra will be purified by the practice of chakri kriya this questions this correlation can come in the exam okay next is telling lingam vajroli karmana lingam meaning the genetics okay our genetic area it will be purify with the practice of vajroli vajroli is not sodhan kriya vajroli is the mudra okay so please make the difference chakri is the adhar muladhar chakra and vajroli is the genital region and sir genital, excuse me how to practice this vajroli sir same man as head par dipika we will discuss in next chapter okay here okay. here name is there but practice is in the next chapter okay and here you can also correlate ling ling meaning it is related with the swadishthan chakra okay not given given is only ling okay i am just correlating it is okay muladhara swadishthan okay. next is the manipuram nabhigatam no lakhien tu karmana it meaning practice of the noli that nabhi chakra nabhigat the body that reason it will activate and that reason the manipur chakra is there okay and next hridayam kanth chakram cha dhotakhien tu karmani with the practice of the dhoti karma then two chakras are affecting first is the hridaya chakra anaha chakra and second is the kanth chakra so this question can come that which practice is affecting two chakras it is dhoti karma okay yavan of you please conclude both the this correlation of the chakras Yes, sir. Muladhara chakra will be purified by the practice of chakri kriya, and vajroli kriya related to yoni or swadhisthan chakra means only given this much, not given means chakri is purifying by uh, yoni chakra or swadhisthan chakra. Then sixty-three practice of noli navi chakra region will be activated, and uh, then practice of dhoti anahata chakra or visuddhi chakra will be purified very good excellent next shloka it is sodhanam karyam agyayam neti tratak karmana now two karmas are affecting one chakra 
वन इज नीति सेकेंड इज त्राटका सो हियर इज टेलिंग दैट नीति क्रिया एंड द त्राटक क्रिया दे आर इफेक्टिंग अवर दे आर प्यूरिफाइंग अवर आज्ञा चक्र ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज सर्वांग शोधन में कार्य इट मीनिंग फुल बॉडी विल प्योरिफाई बाय द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ विच चक्र सॉरी विच प्रैक्टिस इट इज भस्त्री एंड भस्त्रे भस्ती भस्ती मीनिंग दैट बस्ती यस्टरडे वी डिस्कस टू काइंड्स ऑफ बस्ती जल बस्ती एंड वायु बस्ती भस्त्रा मीनिंग मस्तक भ्रांति द कपाल भांति सो इट मीनिंग बस्ती क्रिया एंड द कपाल भांति बोथ प्रैक्टिस दे इफेक्ट द इंटायर बॉडी ओके या प्लीज कंक्लूड दिस लोका कमोन Sir, in this sloka, uh, he is mentioning that uh, the Agni Chakra is purified by two uh, kriyas, Neti and Tradika, and entire body is purified by two kriyas, Basti and Vastra, which is also known as Kapala Bhati. Excellent. Thanks. Next sloka, it is sixty-five. It is Shat Adharam Swadishthana Mani Puram Anahatam Visuddhi Kanth Chakra. आज्ञा चक्रम ब्रुवोर्मुखे चक्र भेद मिति ज्ञात्वा चक्रातितम निरंजनम सो ऑल द चक्रास आधार चक्रा मिन मूलाधार चक्रा स्वादिष्टान चक्रा मणिपुर चक्रा अनाहत चक्रा विसुद्धि थ्रोट एंड द आज्ञा टोटल आर द सिक्स चक्रास ओके एंड दे आर टेलिंग द लोकेशन ऑफ आज्ञा चक्रा इट इज ब्रुवोर्मुखे At the eyebrows, okay. The, that location is the Agya Chakra, which one should know. Here he is telling, Niranjana Chakra Bhed Bhed Miti Gyatva Chakra Titam Niranjanam. It means that yogi, okay, who has purified or penetrated all the chakras, okay. So. He can get the niranjan. It is the one kind of post niranjan pad. As like you understand that yogi, he will get the asam pragyat samadhi. So that kind of position, it is the niranjanam. So in that position, it is here is telling absolute. Okay, is beyond throw of chakra. So you can also understand that uh, the, the yogi can get the shiva sthana. That is the Niranjana Pad, and in Hat Pradipika we discussed when in the fourth chapter when I was explaining meaning to you the synonyms of the Samadhi. Niranjana is one of them. Maybe you remember or not? Okay. Niranjana is synonyms of the Samadhi and the Raj Yoga. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Please conclude it. Anyone? So we are in this. Uh, shloka he is saying that uh, by penetrating all the six chakras adhar swadishthan nali purana had vishuddhi and agya chakra agya chakra which is at the center of the eyebrow uh, yogi will get the naranjana path basically the sampradaya samadhi very good next is the number 66 it is about the matha matha location so सुराष्ट्रे धार्मिक देशे तू भिक्षे निरूप द्रवे एकांते मठिका मध्य स्थातव्य महट योगिना सेम ही स्टेलिंग सुराष्ट्रे इट मीनिंग दैट दैट कंट्री शुड बी गुड धार्मिक देशे दैट द पीपल शुड बी रिलीजियस So big say if the yogi he ask any arms that he get easily there if the people will be religious only they can then they can give. Nirupa there will no any kinds of extra natural disaster any kinds of trouble as like ba that tsunami, bad, bhukam, okay earthquake it's extra it not should be there at that location, okay. Ekant mati ka madde. Okay, that uh, uh, selecting that mud, uh, that hut. Uh, okay, satavam hut yogi na. 
there the yogi should the practice okay so it is also same next is the description about the uh, hut okay hut of a yogi it is the alp dwaram arant garta vivaram door should be small arandra no any kinds of extra hole should be there okay natyusni chaitam it should not be high not below samme gomme sandra lipt mamulam that should be proper uh what we say it is proper well uh malam ko kya bolenge in english what we say it will be paste okay nicely smeared with a paste of cow smeared lep na okay so properly with the dung cow dung okay amlam no any kind of extra impurity should be there nices bo jijitam no any kind of extra insects or bacteria should be there bahiye mandap so outside a little shed should be there vedi the that uh, stone like structure where the yogi can sit outside as like modern time is chair we use so that vedi same as like chair made by the stone poop the well should be near uh, the front of the kutir so it will save the yogi time to get the water prakare samvistitam the full hut should be covered with a good wall okay it will protect from the wild animals proktam yog mathasya lakshanam idam so these are the symptoms of the matha siddhi hata vyasa be that yogi who want to get perfectness who want to get siddhi in the hatha yoga so he should uh, focus he should prepare his uh, uh, hut as like this kind so of uh, uh, the qualities of the hut he should follow that okay next is the 68 एवं विधे मठे स्थित सर्व चिंता विवर्जित आफ्टर सिलेक्टिंग दैट मठ विदउट बिकम थोट लेस नो एनी कैंड ऑफ एक्सट्रा स्ट्रेस ग्रुप दिस्ट मार्गेण विच विच कैंड ऑफ दैट इंस्ट्रक्शन ही गोट बाय हिज गुरु दैट प्रैक्टिस ही शुड डू इन दैट हट ओके नेक्स्ट सिक्सटी नाइन इट इज द तक्त निद्रो मिता हारो जित श्वासो जितेन्द्रिय है हटाभ्यास परो नित्यम योगी ब्रह्म समो भवेत सो हियर ही इज टेलिंग दैट या हु कैन अटेन द ब्रह्म हु कैन अटेन द ब्रह्म फर्स्ट क्वालिटी हु हैज कंक्यूड द हिज निद्रा हिज स्लीप who has control his sleep mitaharo moderate diet he is taking less food okay jit swaso he has perfecting perfected in the kumbhakaj he has fully control on the breath jit indriya he has full control on the senses hata bhyaso param nityam that yogi who is after uh, that these kinds of four quality 1 2 3 4 then if yogi is practicing regularly that yogi can attain the brahma okay i have no please conclude it it's important these four things come on conclude okay. so we are saying that uh, who can attain brahma like the one who has conquered conquered her uh, her or he will his sleep and who is taking nitahar or who has perfected kumbhaka or who has won over the indriyas Brahma. Excellent. Next uh, sloka number seventy. Yogi swarasya yoga se yoga sastrasya parvati. Nindanch ye par kurunti rag sastre narachito. So here it is the words of the Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva is telling, O Parvati, one who renounces or adept of yoga. and yoga science is like the demon it means that he is telling that that you, that person who are 
uh, that uh, denotes uh, it means that who are not following who are its meaning ninda karna who are telling wrong words wrong things about the yoga so they are as equal to demon they are the rakshasas and they are not believing the yoga signs so here lord uh, that lord uh, shiva he is telling that person they are equal to they are the demon okay so this question can come exam according to hatratnavali okay who is demon so demon is who is not following the yoga path that is who is that is the demon okay next is the 71 same as same copy from hatpradipika it is godum sale yav sastik sobhananam chirajya khand navnit sita madhuni sunti patolaka phal adi panch sakam mudgadi divya mudkam cha yamindra patkam so godum meaning weight sali meaning rice yav meaning yav is the that barley barley we called it is the yav sastik sobhananam okay sastik is the special kind of rice chir milk ajya ghee khand meaning uh, khand meaning sugar navneet navneet meaning that we say it is the makhan and in english we say it is butter milk okay no not makhan what we say makhan in english makhan is butter yeah makhan is the butter. okay very good thank you navneet is the butter makhan is okay sita sita is the that candy sweet candy sweets okay madhuni meaning sahad honey sunti sunti we call dry ginger patolak is one kind of fruit okay uh, patolak phal uh, panch sakam panch sakam okay five kinds of uh, vegetables mudgadi mudg mud it is the one dal moong dal okay divya mudka divya it is the that uh, uh, the rainy water so yamindra patyam it is the good okay so these are the patthe diet so the swatma uh, sorry swami sri nivasi he is suggesting that yogi should follow this kinds of diet if he, he want if to get siddhi okay yeah next is the 72 it is about the apatthe diet apatthe meaning which yogi should not follow apatthe mahu katu okay amla tikshna lavana ushna harita sakam shovir tail til sarsap matsyam madham madam azadi mans dadhi takr kultat kol kodra pinyak hing lehsun adi apatthe mahu okay katu meaning so here is the katu meaning is the wrong here katu meaning not the bitter katu meaning that uh, spicy taste tik tikha we called katu it is opposite in the in ayurveda it is telling tikshan is the uh, kadwa bitter and katu the katu it is a tikha okay it is a spicy so katu aml tikshna aml meaning that acidic food tikshna meaning that bitter food lavan salty food ushn that extra heated food harita sakam veggies so veer so veer it is the that must uh, so veer we call it is uh, oil no sorry sorry sour gruel it is sesam we call it is okay sesam in hindi tail oil till is no till sesam is the till so we please check what is sour okay so it is sour gruel in english they are translating sour gruel okay tail is the oil till is the sesam sarsap sarsap is the sarso we called sarso is the mustard okay okay so sarsap is the missing here no okay mustard it is mustard meaning sarsap 
ओके मत्स्य फिश मध्य एल्कोहल आज आदि मीनिंग गोट गोट इट्स एक्स्ट्रा मास मीनिंग नॉन वेज आदि मीनिंग द अदर नॉन अदर मास आल्सो ही इज डिनाइंग दैट योगी शुड नॉट टेक एनी काइंड्स ऑफ नॉन वेज दी कार्ड तक्र द बटर मिल्क कुलथत कुलथत इज द कुलथत इज ए टाइप ऑफ लिंटिल एंड कोद्र कोद्र इज द स्पाइस ऑफ ग्रेन पिन्याक पिन्याक इज द ऑयल केक हिंग एसफोटिडा एंड लहसुन लहसुन मीनिंग गार्लिक so these kinds of food apatha mahu yogi should not follow this kinds of food okay please remember the shloka shloka is the best way to remember thing in sequence otherwise directly if you remember you will get confused okay and every time one questions come from the patha and apatha diet every time come so remember this shloka so this diet is both same in at pradipika and the hatratnavali so in the next 73 so according to in the goraks vachanam the goraks nadhi but he is telling he is telling varjayete durjan preeti vahni istri path sevanam pratah snano pas adi kaya klesh sadikam tatha it means so goraks nadhi he is suggesting a yogi should uh, follow these kinds of things first is varjayet durjan it means that that uh, the rare places durjan prantam it means the unknown places yogi should not go there okay vahani he should make a distance with the uh, fire fire is not good for the yogi okay stri woman otherwise his mind will distract okay his uh, senses will out of control that's why he directly he is telling so woman should not be there so in the context of a female yogi so same it will be opposite male will be there okay path sevanam path sevanam meaning long traveling long walk yogi should not follow otherwise he will get mental or physical problems issues or time wasting so that's why yogi uh, goraksnath ji telling yogi should not follow these things he should be alone and at a single place and other things he is telling pratah snan upvas morning early morning walk upvas that kind of upvas meaning fasting which is affecting the body which is paining the body so that kind he is telling upasa adi it's extra the other things other karma in our sanatan parampara na many vart many upas many austerity we do follow so he directly he is telling a yogi should not follow that kinds of extra things who is Sir, you are not audible. Yeah. Sir, am I audible? Yes, sir. Now you are audible. Okay, you understand this sloka or not? It is the same in Atparthika. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Next is the seventy-four. Masendra was not happy. According to Masendra Nath, it is Ras Mare Mare Hem Kare Mal Jare Jare Yog Hare Vayu Pure Pure Ayu Kare Atma Dhyane Dhyane Moksha Kare. So he is telling Ras Mare Ras meaning chemistry. Following the chemistry, then you can get Hema meaning gold. if you are following the chemistry then you can produce the gold mal jare jare yog hare if you are removing the uh, that uh, toxins 
then you your body will be rog hare disease less why you pure pure ayu kare if you are controlling the air then you can enhance your age atma dhyane dhyane moksh kare if you are doing meditate on your soul then you can get the liberation so these four things machinder nath is telling yes one of you please conclude this shloka it means that if we if we have the knowledge of the chemistry then you can produce the gold if we have knowledge of the metals so here they are highlighting the of the mercury you can produce the gold okay so it is about the chemistry the knowledge of the metals then only you can create otherwise you cannot create gold so not create produced okay getting or not yes sir yeah please conclude it answer mal ja re ja re rog hare me hello yes sir the second line sir mal ja re ja re rog hare me sare meaning the purify the body free your body from the all kinds of toxins morbid is meaning the kami it we called na purify the it is a mal toxins if you clean the toxins automatically body will be disease free na okay yes sir so Let's in this come. shloka hmm. yeah uh, shrinivas bhaji saying that oh no sorry matun nath ji saying that following chemistry uh you will be producing gold like you will be having the knowledge of metal and by removing all the toxin from your body your body will become diseaseless and by controlling air you will enhance your age and by med- meditating on soul you will get liberation very good the yeah, next 75 it is shrestham sumudram snigdham gavyam dhatu parposhanam manobhilasitam yogyam चतुर्थारांसिवारिंग cow product milk it's extra dhatu parposhanam that side that diet should be uh, helps to improve your dhatu in your body and seven kinds of dhatu you have ras rakta maas medasti madhya shukra it meaning that food should be helpful to uh, to improve the dhatu level in your body okay it should be narrated to the dhatu mano bilisita mean that uh, food should be Uh, that uh, if you are looking that food that uh, your mind should be also be happy okay mano bilasitam that should be uh, interested food not be without an interest you are eating so without interest of you are they are not liking the karela okay they are not liking so they are making face before eating so that food not be, will give good health to them so according to his interest that should that should be so it is not highlighting specially that would be anything but the mind should be pleasure when you are eating the food okay yogyam it should be suitable to your body chaturtharans vivarjitam one fourth of your total hunger you have to be make empty okay one fourth of your stomach is you have to be empty only 75% you have to fill your stomach with food or the water okay and that food also shivarpitam okay first you have to serve that food to the lord shiva and after that you can take that food that food that we called it is the mitahar ha yeah please one of you conclude it yes sir so here he, uh, 
in Vaji saying that food should be sliced to Madhur Snigg made out from milk. Uh, dhatu proportional means which nourishes the dhatu. Uh, mind should be happy by uh, taking that food, Mano Bhilashukam. One fourth of the stomach needs to be kept empty, and uh, one fourth of the stomach should be filled with the water, and uh, that food should be offered to Shiva first. Very good. Okay. I am a Mamita Hari Kadnena Vivarjita. So, so that yogi who is following that above thing previously mentioned, that is the Mita Hari. So uh, if he is not following that, he is not Mitahari. He is telling, choose bad foods who are not taking extra foods, just following the above mentioned food. That yogi we call the, that is the Mitahari yogi, okay? Next is 77. It is about the uh, Badhaka Tattvas. Note down it is Badhaka Tattvas are mentioned in chapter number one, okay? Atyahari prayas chapter jalpo niyamagraha jan sangrasa lolium chestnut beer yoga as same as like to hat per dipika atyahari over diet prayas extra exertion extra efforts too much per jalpo talkativeness too much talking he is niyamagra extra over following the rules adherence to the rules jan sangrasa too much people contact Lolyam cha, he has no control his senses. So these six things, these are the Sadhpir Yoga Vinasati. It will hold, it will stop. They are the main barrier in to getting the Siddhi. Okay. Next is the 78. Yeah, it is important because uh, previously it was same as like Hatpardipika, but it is not exactly Hatpardipika, it is different. It is the sadhaka tattva. First is the utsaha. Utsaha meaning that uh, in tattvajam, okay? Utsaha nishayat. Nishayat meaning determination. Strongly. They are telling firm resilience. Then dhirya. Patience should be there. Tattva jnanat. Tattva jnana meaning the right knowledge. The right understanding, correct what is actuality, he is knower of that. Tattva jnanas. Bindu, Bindu meaning that uh, he, the conquered of the, uh, that nectar, Bindu's theorem. Okay. Then Mitahara, Mitahari should be there. Jansang Vivar Jitnam, very limited context he will be. Limited context not um, he is uh, not too public okay nidra tyaga it meaning he, so he has a good command in the sleep he will he is not the slave of the sleep okay uh, that is the jit swasa okay controlling the swasa also prana pranayam kumbhaka has a good command okay Peet steria, it meaning, peet meaning asana, steria meaning stirta. Okay, the st uh, attaining stability in the asana. And he is telling, analasa, it meaning no laziness, diligence state. Okay, no any kind of uh, that uh, laziness should be there. Next is the guru acharya parsadan. Prasad, prasad meaning happy or bliss. So the acharya and the guru also should be happy with that student. Then abhir yoga to siddhyati. That kind of yogi he can get the siddhi. So how many it is? Okay, let's count. Utsaha one, that nishya two, dhirya three, tattvajnana four. Then Bindu 5, then Mitahara 6, next is the less contact 7, sleep, no, less sleep 8, control the breath 9, stability in the postures 10, 
no laziness 11 and the uh, blessings of the guru and the acharya total are the 12 okay are you getting or not one of you please conclude it Yes, sir. So, the uh, Utsah, Dhaire, Tattva Gyan, Right Knowledge, uh, uh, who has, okay, so the Bindu should be stable, Mitahar, uh, limited social gathering, less sleep, uh, have control over the Shwas or Prana, stability in Asana, no laziness, and uh, he, the person have should have the blessing of acharyas and guru. I mean, acharyas Excellent. and guru should be happy with him. Very good. This kind of changes uh, that because it is different from Hatpardipika, so questions can come here. Okay. Yeah, seventy nine. Sloka it is. Sruta acharya prasadach yoga bhyas balen che isra no grahene. Yoga Siddhita Jayate. So here, so first is the Shastra, then Acharya, third is the Yoga, and fourth is the Ishwar. So four point, please remember. If anyone want to succeed in Yoga, Yoga Siddhita Jayate. If anyone want to get perfectness in the Yoga, so these four things should be there. First is the Shrutya, meaning the good knowledge of the scriptures of the text veda purana etc okay then is the acharya blessings should be there of your of the gurus okay then yoga bhyasa so good yoga practice and grace of the ishwara only then you can get the actual uh, benefit of the yoga and actual benefit of the yoga is the liberation okay yeah please conclude 79 Sir, to attain the success in yoga, uh, one should be able to uh, have understanding of the scriptures. Then there should be grace of Acharya, a good yoga practice, and finally, grace of Ishwara. Scriptures also, okay? Yeah. Number 80. So it is the same as Hatpardipika, little bit changing, but almost same. The Guru name. Adinate Matsendra Sabarananda Bhirava Sarangimin Goraksha Viru Paksha Pilisaya Manthana Bhirava Yogi Siddhi Buddha Sakanthali. Here Kanthali, there is Kanthadi. There is Koran Taka, here is Koran Daka. Koran Daka Surananda Siddhi Padasa Sarpati. Karoti Puja Padasa Nitanado Niranjana Kapali Bindu Nada se Kaka Chandi Sarahove Allama Prabhu Deva se Nichi is different here. Nichi Chuti Titi Tintani Bhaluki. It is Bhanuki. There is Bhanuki here. Luki lies here. Okay. Narga Bodha se Kande Kapali Kasata Ityadeo Mahasita Hat Yoga Prabhavate Kanditwa Kalajandam Brahmande Vicharantiti. So these are the names of the Hat Yogi. And Yitwa Kaladandam, they have they are apart from the death, birth and death cycle. Brahman Devi Sarante, right now, maybe also they are uh, moving in the space, okay? So they are the deathless, okay? Okay, last look, I think it is next is, yeah, last look, no, last two sloka here, total is 86. Pranayama ireva sarve prasusanti malaiti acharyanam tu kesanchit anyata karmana samatam. So here he is telling that few acharyas, they are telling that pranayam, they are able to uh, that uh, purify your body. Okay. Acharyanam, no need to do any practice. Same sloka in Hatpardipika also. Okay. Uh, after the set karma is there, that uh, starting, they are, they are telling that uh, yogi uh, should practice the uh, sodhana kiriyas. And after that, they are telling few acharyas, they are telling no need to sodhana kiriya, direct practice the pranayama. Pranayama is the able to clean your body. Okay. 
सो अन्य कर्म नो नीड टू एक्स्ट्रा कर्म एक्स्ट्रा कर्म मीनिंग शोधन क्रिया इट्स एक्स्ट्रा इदम वचनम हटाभ्यास कर्ण सामर्थ्य मिति बोधयम ओके सो दिस स्टेटमेंट अप्लाइज टू दोज हु आर अनेबल टू अंडरटेक हटा प्रैक्टिस इट मीनिंग दैट दैट योगी दैट पर्सन हु आर नॉट एबल टू फॉलोइंग द शोधन क्रिया जो आसना इट्स एक्स्ट्रा सो डायरेक्टली इफ दे प्रैक्टिस द प्राणायाम दे कैन आल्सो गेट द परफेक्टनेस ओके बट लिटिल बिट डिफिकल्ट बट दे कैन ओके that he is telling and the last shloka of this chapter it is sampradaya abidham thana jayate ratna malika suvarna khachita seyam ko va yogi dupate what he is telling that it the summary of this shloka it that yogi can do anything it is a samriti he said churning the ocean of different traditions the garland so so as like we get of good things many kinds of gems from the ocean na we can get na churning it means you understand as like that devasur sangram there are many things they get na so same he is telling that with golden works has been prepared which yogi would like to ignore this so here he is telling that definitely golden meaning the yogi definitely he will get many kinds of siddhis many kinds of golden opportunities which try to distract them but yogi should ignore them as same in the yog darshan also uh, vibhuti pad 36 sutra there they are telling uh, the te samadhi vipsurga that kind of sutra there that this samadhi uh, sorry this these kinds of siddhi they are disturbing they are not they will not help they will, if you are attaching with that kind of siddhis you will you you will distract from your goal you will not get, attain to kevalya so same thing he is telling so many siddhi yogi will get but he should ignore all that things okay yeah please conclude it so basically uh, shrinivas ji is saying that uh, yogi will get all the siddhi or all the good opportunities which will uh, lead to distraction uh, but uh, for attaining the kavalya yogi should uh, avoid all these siddhi very good and with this shloka the first chapter prathama upadesha has completed congratulations to you little faster hope you are understanding <laughs> okay let's revise and few students they left the class it is not good thing revision is very very important okay five ten minutes it is please stay in the class okay okay raise your hand we will start the revision of today class yeah yes sakshi ji if uh, yeah for requesting uh, who is uh, answering please on your camera if your network is good okay yeah yes sakshi ji yes sir please do fast 5 minutes we have only yes sir sorry okay so uh after chapter uh, like ashkarma uh, as a result of kriya six chakras will be uh, purified and body will be ready for pranayam and all kind of diseases will be cured and liberation uh, yogi will get the liberation again in next sutra he is saying that all kind of uh, uh, disease yogi will uh, i mean from the ashta uh, kriya all kind of disease will be cured and by chakri kriya the muladhara chakra will be 
purified and from uh, vajroli uh, swadhisthan chakra will be purified in next shloka he is saying that nali kriya will purify the manipura chakra and dhati karma will purify the hriday or the kanti chakra then in next shloka uh, neti and prataka will purify the agya chakra and bhastra and bhastra karma will uh, purify the entire body excellent then, very next uh, yeah kartik ji please continue the revision very good sakshi ji kartik ji please continue Kartik ji, are you here? You are not here. Yeah. Uh, other person, yes. Uh, Lipali, come and please continue. Okay, sir. So again, uh, hot hotter places is mentioned in the hot ratna valley. Means Surajya, oil administrator, Dharmi ke means spiritual place. Yogi should choose. then subhiche where uh, where you can get good arms then nirupadrape without natural disaster that place should be then ekantra matike madhe should practice so this uh, hot description is given then uh, again glass door means as uh, mentioned in the uh, as mentioned in the hot pradipika i did not written it again so if yes alpadare uh, उड then uh, wiped um, with the help of cow dung uh, so impurities will be go out then uh, any kind of okay then uh, yes mandapa bedi kupa outside must have an uh, open platform with the thatched uh, roof and a oil then a uh, praka uh, hot should be a surrounding wall means so boundary uh, that hot should be one boundary of wall very good so the protected by a wall yes. very good bet you sir avani ji please continue the revision very good alipalika ma'am sir avani ji please continue the revision fast come on Sir, I am not is not active. Yes, Rajeshri, ma'am, please continue. <clears throat> yes, sir. So all these practices, uh, he is saying that you should uh, do as directed by Guruji, and he is also saying that uh, one who is consistent in this hatha practice, he will gain control over sleep, food, kumbaka, and senses, sir, and attain the Brahma. and uh, then he is also saying that one who denounces yoga or speaks bad about the science of yoga they are like demon on the earth and then he speaks about the patya food sir patya food he has mentioned some items do you want me to read the item name sir please skip and continue yeah ah. okay so wheat uh, rice or shali barley or yava shastika means 60 days crop sir then sheer milk ajya ghee Manda means brown sugar, Navneet means butter, Sheila means sugar candy, Madhuni means honey, Shunti means dry ginger, Patola means it's a vegetable, uh, Panchashaka means five pot herbs, and Mudgaadi. Mudgaadi means green gram, and Divya Mudakam. Divya Mudakam is uh, pure water or rain water, sir. Then he also speaks about some apatya foods like the katu, which is uh, spice, then amla, which is acidic. Uh, Uh, then tikshna which is kadava and lavana salty ushna means heat reheated heated food harita shaka means leafy vegetables a fermented gruel uh, uh, then oil mustard alcohol fish flesh and any kind of other meats uh, curd or dadhi buttermilk or tak takra takra horse gram uh, then pinyaka Then asafoetida, garlic, kodra, and sesame oil. 
वेरी गुड मैम एक्सीलेंट एक्सीलेंट मधुरा मैम प्लीज कंट्रोल द रिवीजन कम ऑन फास्ट मधुरा मैम कम ऑन कम ऑन फास्ट रिवीजन डू रिवीजन लेजोनियर के अंदर आई टोल्ड अबाउट अपत्य पर अपत्य एज डन मैम नेक्स्ट को पता है ओके पत्तिया it should be free from unknown place continue continue come on be confident hi he is uh, distance with the fire women longer traveling and he should be alone early morning walk and he should not follow other extra activities of upavasam like that and not he told early, about not early morning walk madam <laughs> it is long uh, walk long walk not early morning walk okay long okay. traveling morning bath sir long walk and morning bath should be yeah bath bath yeah she told bath or walk bath bath so oh, she needs to she needs to he should he should avoid longer traveling Yeah, yeah. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah, I understand uh, morning walk. Okay, yeah. Please continue. And he told about the Guru's name, Masendra Nath. And also, it uh, how we from the chemistry of the metals we can prepare gold like that. When we remove the toxins from our body, then the body is disease free. Then when we control about the air, then we can we can control about the age. Then. When we meditate on the soul, we get liberation. Very good, Madhura, ma'am. Yes, Simiji, please continue. Come on, pass, Simiji. Do revision. Simiji. Sir, uh, uh, sir, I haven't written the notes. Actually, I was out. I was just listening. The. Okay, okay, morning. sir. Avani ji, are you here? Yes, sir. Please continue. Yeah. After that, they discussed about this. Uh, Mitahara, one should consume food with wholesome, sweet, and uh, unctuous, and and containing milk products and nutritious, which are which are good for you. And after leaving one fourth of the stomach, we need to keep it as empty, and we need to offer it to the God, Ishwara Ishwara Panam, and uh, and we need to consume it like like uh, in limited quantity, one by fourth only, and even. And after that, they discussed about this bhada uh, katha, and we need to uh, avoid these things according to same like in hatha yoga pratika, excess eating, atyahara, and prayasa over exertion, and prajalpa over talkativeness, and uh, niyamagraha extreme extreme following rules, and uh, janasanga janasanga scha like public contacts and uh, laulyam greed. These are the six bhada katha we need to avoid, and then then we need to. Maintain that sadhu katatva like utsaha, like success in enthusiasm and nishaya, firm resolution, dhairyam, patience, and um, katva gnana, understanding the correct uh, principles, and then bindu like uh, stability in bindu and consumption of uh, moderate food, taharam, and avoid public contact and sleep, and having control over breath and retaining stability in asana and. Uh, And diligence and pleasing the guru or the guru or acharya. Very good, ma'am. Very good. Success, ji. Please continue next. Yes, sir. So, ah, uh, so that success in yoga. That how one will get success in yoga. That scripture, by by scriptures, by blessing of guru, ah, uh, by good yoga practice and by the grace of Ishwara. Then in Sloka 80, the name of uh, gurus which I have not written, but if you want, I can like read for whatever I. Yes, firstly uh, you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adinath Masendra Savara Nand Bhairava. Sir, uh, can I just go through with the Sloka? <laughs> yeah, ten second only you have. मुझे हट का दीपिका वाला याद है 
Okay, let's yeah. revise. Do check, check, check. I, I think page yeah, number is at the end. Yeah, yeah. yes, can continue. Adinath, Mastendra, Shabara, Anand Bhairava, Sharangi, Nina, Goraks, Virupaks, Dileshaya, Manthan, Bhairavo, uh, Siddh, Buddh, Kandali, Koran, Dakaha, Puranand, Siddh, Padash, Charpati, Karoti, Pooja, Padash, Nityanath, Niranjan, Kapali, Bindunath, Kaak, Chandi, Ishwara, Allama, Prabhudev, Nat, Sutisht, Tintari, Bhaluki, Narg, Bodh, Thand, Kapalika, uh, yeah. Very good. You maintain you note down which guru name extra in Hatpardipika and which are extra in Hatpardipika here, Hatratinavali. That compared to study to yourself. Okay. Yeah. Please continue last sloka. Then in 85 sloka, uh, he is saying that pranayam can purify all the uh, toxins. So no other practice is required. And who is not following any other practice, pranayam alone is enough for uh, them. And last shloka is saying that all the siddhis or the golden opportunities which yogi will get as a distraction, yogi should uh, uh, avoid that. Very good, very good, very good. Next class today, eight thirty, we'll uh, start the second chapter of pranayam. Today we will complete. Okay, next request to Rajeshwari, ma'am. Please conclude the class with Shanti mantra. Very good, Sakshi ji.